can this be? How can I be about to be ripped apart by my own creation, like my father before me? When I go back and think about the process in which I became this man, it makes me sick to my stomach. Oh, are you a new student? Ah. Uh... Oh, I guess you're shy. Well, I'm Miss Luciano. If it makes you feel more at home, though, you can call me Marnie. I'm Dexter. Well, Dexter, what classes are you looking to take this year? I'm sorry. My father died recently. I've only been in the country a short while. I don't feel much like talking. Okay, well, I'm the genetics engineering professor. My lab door is always open. You don't say. The next day. Come in. Do you have a minute? Dexter, I'm actually glad you stopped by. You seemed really down when we first met. I was worried a little. Are you feeling better? Much. I wanted to talk to you about genetic engineering. See, my father didn't just die. He was killed in an experiment. He, too, was also a genetic engineer, which is why I came to this country from Germany to become. This university is very well known for its genetics and chemistry departments. Now I see why. Oh, well, it's okay, I guess. I'm taking your class this semester. I came here with a dream of making soldiers from animals so men will never die in times of war again. And I see it through to the end if it kills me. Wow, what an intriguing idea. I've never heard such passion. But if I can ask, why animals and not machines? Besides that they offer nothing. Machines develop artificial intelligence, break down, act on their own without warning. But a well-trained animal does what it's told. Your ideas are so intense. They fascinate me. I'd love to sit down and pick your brain over dinner. I'll cook. Professor, are you asking me on a date? Maybe. But if the school board asks, we're doing research, okay? A few weeks later. Dexter recorded Marnie for some time. Hi, Marnie. How are you? Dexter? Remarkable, isn't it? And Snowball here is just the tip of the iceberg. You're scaring me, Dexter. The rabbit is cute, but what does that last part mean? Just imagine what I've allowed this creature to experience now. It was this country's former president who said we need only fear, fear itself, my dear. Change is always for the better. That's the basis of evolution. When you put it like that, it's so hard to disagree. Maybe you are the instrument of this evolution. Promise me you won't make anything dangerous. What? Never mind. You're not even listening. Yeah, go ahead. Get me one, please. Bye, Dexter. <laughs> Remarkable. Snowball, halt! Yes, Master. A few months later, Dexter was given a grant to study his idea of animal soldiers, and Marty had come around to the idea out of love for Dexter. Ah, this just isn't working! <laughs> Their chromosomes won't stabilize! How did I know you'd still be here? Dexter, you're obsessed! My dear, I miss you too. But I do this work for all mankind. Imagine the secrets of life and medicine and the countless people we can save. What can I say? You're right. We don't know until we know. But for the record, don't say we. Because you're playing God and I want no part of it. Goodbye, Dexter. Marnie, come back! A few days later, Dexter had not talked to Marty since their fight, and he could not get back to work again until he heard her voice. That's her number there. I'm sure of it. Damn! Answering machine. Hi, it's Ethel. And Marty, leave a message. Dexter? Marty! Dexter, if we're gonna talk, we need guidelines. You're breeding monsters. What did you call me? I'm no longer Dexter. I don't care for it. 
I am the doc. What? I am the developer of creatures. I am the doc. It's clever. In a tyrannical sort of way. Are you calling me a tyrant? Look, Dexter. I gotta go. <sighs> Dexter began work again. Only this time with a rage that would make even the most careful of men slip up. Dexter's father worked for the German and Russian army in both world wars and made many military connections. Are you serious? Try again. Dexter tracked down an old friend of his father's named Klaus Van Buren. Klaus still currently developed weapons. Dexter hoped to gain employment as well. Ah, Dexter, how did the same? Why, I haven't seen you since... Well, not since my father died, yes. I'll have to call you back, okay? This is why I'm smarter than my father. Uh, Klaus, I'm going to need a week or two, okay? But I'm very close to making this work, man. Look, Dexter, Project Zero was dropped over ten years ago. It was probably for the best. My father did not die in vain, you son of a bitch. All right, kid. For your dad, I can make a call. Do call! <laughs> Magnificent, isn't it, Klaus? We did it. Fine, Dexter. You did it. Your father would be proud. I have arranged for you to meet with the Russian tomorrow. He is the reason that your father is dead, Dexter. Project Zero was on point, ahead of schedule even, but that general had something to prove he rushed us and made us use unstable specimens. Your father being himself only seemed to plead with the general, which only seemed to make him push your father harder. I wish you hadn't told me that. I really do. Why is that? Because now I have to kill him. Later that night, Dexter spent the entire night tossing in his sleep, picturing his father's death and imagining his joy seeing his rabbit kill the general responsible. My creature will feast on his soul. Klaus, you son of a bitch. You said seven. All right, I'm here. Who wants to buy the future? Niet. This cannot be why I flew from Russia. For this. I've heavily sedated him. If I hadn't, I'd fear for both our lives. If I kill him now, my father's dream dies with him. I need him alive till the process is perfected and my army is done. I like you, Dexter, right? It'll take some doing, but I'll see that this gets funded. Not that easy. I don't believe you. Just one last thing. Make three more just like it by end of year. Meanwhile, Dexter had connected himself well, but what he didn't know is some activists waited for him to leave his lab and paid it a visit. Money? What the fuck? Where is my phone? Money? Pick up! I know you're home! Dexter, what's wrong? You're scaring my mother and me! A small group called Marnie, I'm assuming your students, just ransacked my lab, you bitch! Dexter, I don't know what you're talking about, but it sounds like I probably should. I'm coming over. Explain! Dexter, I swear, I didn't do this! But it might be my fault. I'm sorry. I gave a pro con speech on your research that may have been more con than I intended. Our last conversation left me really mad, but Dexter... You gave a lecture on this? This is top secret! Bro, the men and women need not die in wartime. Con, the suffering of these animals. Con, the cost to create these things. Con, time wasted by a brilliant man. She is so right. We need to do something. I think you're right. Who the hell is that? Hopefully it's that rights group come to kill me. Or the Russians. Or the Germans. I'm coming, damn it! Just make it quick, okay? You misunderstand greatly, my friend. May I come in? Sure. What else do I have to lose? 
Okay, so who are you and what the hell do you want from me? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Larry Luciano, the CEO of CT Records. If you haven't noticed, I'm not a goddamn singer. So what? I read about your lab and your rabbit. I have a somewhat seedy proposal for you, Dexter. There is an artist on my label that is a publicity nightmare. I think his record might sell better, and I might sleep a little sounder if a tragedy befell him. A hundred thousand dollars for his body. What do you say, Dexter? If you know me, and you know what I do, then you know that I don't have a fucking lab right now. I own a record label. I can build you a lab. A hundred thousand dollars in a new lab? You've got yourself a scientist. A few days later, Dexter's lab was built and he began work on what would later be called Project Black Dawn. So, now what should I expect exactly? Rabbits? Monsters? Tigers? Zombies? Let's see those activists stop that. You expect me to believe that you can make zombies? Come on, Dexter. New guy, get in here. I need ya. Hey, uh, boss, what's this gizmo do? Don't worry about it. Oh, shit! Happens all the time. See? No big deal, man. Just have to reinforce that glass again. In case you're curious about that stinger, it injects a mutating agent into the prey's bloodstream. Holy crap! You can make zombies. Impressed, are you? So... How many do you need? About 200. It's a lot, I know, but there is no rush. But Dexter, if you can pull this off, I see to it you can get an island for this shit. Are they ready yet, Dexter? They're in a truck loaded up. Yes, Larry, all 200 are ready to go. Good, good. I have a mall opening I booked the singer for, ribbon cutting. It's the ideal place for him to suffer his fate. Oh, shit! Does anyone else see that? So he's famous. Big deal. If you want to live, come with me! He's dying here. Without giving too much away or wasting time, you're in great danger! I can see that. We gotta go back. We can't let those people suffer. I took these from that lab. I'm scared of what they do, but now's the time to find out. Yeah, uh... I'm in! Whatever it takes! Well, I, uh, I sure feel different. How about you guys? Stop being stupid. Let's go help those people back there. What are you looking at, Steve? Uh, nothing. Let's go. Meanwhile, Marnie, the girl, sits down with the artist to explain what the hell is going on. My uncle is the owner of your label. He thinks your record is worth more if you die some horrible death here in this mall. Are you kidding me? So what? I, I'm gonna die here. Not if I have anything to say about it. If you die, I die. What is this room? How did you know to come here? My uncle made it as an office to watch the mayhem. He's not a good man. My name is Marnie. Whoa, wait, what? Like the activists? Run! I got this. Yes. I am their unknowing inspiration, and I have, let's see, mixed feelings about it. This entire thing is my fault, and so many lives are being lost. I don't know if I want to live, but since I got you into this, I owe you. When my uncle gets here, he might kill us both. The least I can offer you is a chance to die happy. Are you serious? I, I'm, I'm going to die. <laughs> Let me guess. I'm next. You know. How would that go with Thanksgiving? But I am very disappointed in you, young lady. What are you doing here, half-naked? Trying to stop this massacre. Where's Dexter? I want to see him now. And we need to evacuate this mall. Your activist friends have already gotten half of them out. Bringing that fuck here saved hundreds. And we can go see your boyfriend anytime, as soon as he's done picking an island.
picking an island? Meanwhile, I will take it, my man. Alright, asshole. One last thing. Boss told me to ask if you wanted help with security. That would be wonderful. Our intel says there's a stranded military troop on one of these islands. If you could offer them salvation, they would be in your debt. Well then, what are we waiting for? Is that a boat? Stop. Okay, just stop. We are going to die here. Uh, rescue team! Oh, that's a boat, all right. I don't like the look of it, or the guys on board. Who cares? Better than dying here. Yeah, I'll take what I can get. We have no idea what they want. Anyone need a ride? Come on, let's get out of here. G good enough for me. I'm good. So, just one of you, huh? Okay, beat his ass and I'll save the rest of you. Try me. Sorry, Sarge. You should have gone with the plan, Pete. Yay. Now finish him and let's go. I gotta get you briefed. Oh, son of a bitch. That hurts. Finally, I did it. The armor for my army is complete. Do you like them? I decided to call you the Aardvark since the helmet has such a unique shape to it. I used the last of my compound. At great expense, this island and its men are immortal. Now, get your suits on. Your first mission is to scavenge the island for any chemical or medical waste you can find. You heard the orders. Same job, new boss. Meanwhile, Marnie and Larry pop by unexpectedly to Dexter's new island. Hey, asshole! Don't look at me like that. I paid for this place. I didn't say anything. Oh, just the guy I was looking for. Uh, bro, my niece. Marnie? I'm not here to chat. I'm pissed. You two killed so many people in that mall. How much money is it worth? She's right. I'm sorry. It wasn't worth it. I did it mostly for you, Marnie. I wanted you to have an island to be queen of. Ugh! Screw both of you lying bastards! I'm going for a walk! Let her go. We can talk shop. How they hanging? Not good, Lair. The chemical I use to make these things is empty. All you need is a chemical? What, muriatic acid, plutonium, sulfuric, sound good? It's a compound. I'm making super beasts, not methamphetamine. Meanwhile, Marnie made a discovery on the far side of the island. What the? I gotta tell Dexter about this. On the other hand... A few days later, Marnie could not keep the secret, and Uncle Larry spared no expense in transporting the waste to Dexter's lab. See? Told you. Easy. Alright, you guys can handle this. Sure thing, boss. The next day, the waste was moved to the lab and Dexter got down to work. Is that a piece of paper? Could... could that be from my father? Dear Dexter, I fear for my life here. The note Cross gave you is a half-truth. I'm working for Russia, but not willingly. I swore him to secrecy, as I know this is the last chance I have to tell you this. The canister in front of you can turn any ordinary creature on Earth into a super beast. One of these things is going to kill me, as I am being rushed by a micromanaging general looking to impress someone. Love, your father, Dexter. One last thing. Never use wild animals. You cannot tame them. Oddvox, get me the meanest tiger in that jungle ASAP. Sedate it and get it to the lab. <laughs> About an hour later. <laughs> Fetch my phone, good man. And maybe some pets. Dear General, it begins. All bow to Kyorik. I am here on behalf of Russian army. I understand you have created some kind of weapon. My country would like to survey it. 
Ah, General, I shall answer all of your concerns. Just follow me to my lab. This, this is it. Your father's was much more impressive. Just you watch. Ah, General, now what do you think? A true scientific wonder, wouldn't you say? Impressive. Wait, what is it doing? <laughs> Gods, for the love of God, come quick! Hold your fire! Whoa! the residents of wherever he's headed. You think we're funding this? You're as mad as you look. You'll be hearing from the UN. This was dropped for a reason. If rampaging super beasts don't stop me, will the UN? I pray for the souls of you and your offspring, Keurig. Come back any time. Foolish general, you don't pray for a god. Professor Keurig, what I saw at your facility was deplorable. You are a deranged man. It is the decision of this council that you'll be treated as any other warmonger. You are ordered to shut down. If you refuse, you will take military action. Dear general, shut down. Why, I haven't even begun yet. As we speak, I've got interns finding ways to make them more docile. What you saw was a mere test subject. I'll go easier on the steroids next time. Perhaps you are not hearing me correctly. There will not be a next time. We, oui. Nama. Perhaps you fail to understand. I already did, and clearly, your security failed. Help! Help! Oh, oh, oh. I'll expect not to hear any more on the matter. Rex! My army has been completed. Look to the left, then to the right. Know that the creatures around you are your brothers. You are the children. I am the father. We are the family that will inherit the earth. All that is or ever will be is your birthright. Now go and take it. Remember, my pets, the harder something is to take, the more value it has. Go make me proud. Sir, look! What the hell is that? All hands on deck! Please, help me on rare occasions. That bitch even tried to stick in my side and ruin all that I worked for. Men, we face a serious problem. On that table is intel on a major crisis. A scientist, in locations unknown, is breeding creatures capable of leveling cities. If he doesn't stop, I fear what could happen. We've brought in the only person alive with any info on who this man is and the process in which he makes these abominations. Okay, what do you want to know? What this man does is mutate animal genetics. He started off harmlessly. A speaking rabbit named Snowball he taught to do some parlor tricks. But he experimented on another rabbit. This time infusing the process with a large steroid dose and human DNA to make it more aggressive. The end result was campus security putting it down. I can only imagine how unstable...
they please become and how deadly these new breeds are. Monty, I need to see you. You're my muse. I'm ready to level the planet without you. I just want to talk. Don't make me pick. It's in no one's best interest. I adore you, but I'd destroy the Earth before I'd live in it without you. Look! The man you used to be was someone I'd still to this day drop anything for. But he's dead. Whatever you've become scares me. I couldn't if I wanted to anyway. You wanted nationwide in over a hundred countries. I'd be shot down trying to get to the island. It'd be impossible. You're right. Fine. Then I'll come to you. What's the word? I did it. He's... he's headed to the U.S. Excellent. Inform the Air Forces and assemble the men. I want every airfield, strip, and desert patrolled on and above the ground. And the Navy! Yes, sir. Hello? Hello? Hold on one second. Answer that box, damn it! This is General Johnson of the U.S. Navy. This box is for emergencies. Please ID yourself. Hello, General. This is the Pentagon. Sir? You better hear this. Sir, this is a matter of national security. I'm faxing you the brief now. Here's the plan. Plane 1 takes me and Rex over Washington. Plane 2 takes two of them to Las Vegas. Plane 3 takes the rest and circles over Washington. Colonel. Time to jump off. Drop point. Everybody out. Thanks. Good job, guys. Come, Rex. I believe the road is this way. Hey, you paying me, right? Uh... Some bitch! Are all the men in place? Yes, sir. We surrender. We surrender. Alright, soldier. Let's go get you some closure. Okay, now! I'm firing, sir! <laughs> no! Rex! Rex! Okay, you bastards. Plan B. Plane 3, drop! <laughs> What did you just do, you son of a bitch? What exactly did you do to my dog? Look up! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Get this son of a bitch out of here before those things land! Yes, sir! Why, he was good. I'm better. Bring it. I hope to find Doc before more find magic. What is that contraption? The cage? It's an impenetrable laser-topped mobile prison I designed. You like it? Impenetrable, my ass. You shut up! Yes, this is why we pay you. This way, we can stay one step ahead of the rest of those things and keep an eye on Dexter here. Excellent. Excuse me. How are things going? Did the plane land? Who or what was on it? Two of those things are dead. They had gun wounds when they touched down. The tiger was seen by the river by a local. The naval captain was not with him. Also, we just got word from Las Vegas about an attack on a casino. Let's go find Big Brother. Wait, wait, and say that. We have 
serious problems, Johnson. There's still more we weren't aware of. I think they just hit the roadblock. I took the liberty of putting cameras in all the vehicles, sir. It's a lion and a duck. As far as I can tell, they have Japanese weapons of melee like the rabbit we saw in the sky. Leo and Quackers are on the East Coast? Oh, that means I'm a wealthy man. Johnson, remind me why I haven't killed this son of a bitch yet. Well, A, we can learn a lot about cloning from him. And B, there's still at least two rampaging super beasts on the loose only he can control. Yes, and I suppose I owe it to that woman who helped us as well. Mani? If you want this war to end, while you still have a city left, you'll get me my Mani. Let me see her. Look, Looney, it's not my job to decide what to do with you. But, you're telling me we have leverage on you. Maybe it's time we should drop this belly at your off to play ball. Let's get this son of a bitch to the damn UN. Take her away, Jones. We're here for a reason. We're here to decide the fate of this tyrant and his experiments. You will do nothing more to my children. Do you hear yourself, Dexter? These things are evil. You use them for evil. Are you two done? You and the tiger are here as a thank you for your efforts and for no other reason. The way I see it, three things will happen. Your sons will be executed. But not the tiger. Magic's earned his stripes. Execute my children over my dead body. You said it again, Dexter. I'm pregnant. Seven months to be exact. You have a real son. Is this the life you want for him? What? How? Just before the Russian visited you, when I came to visit your island with my Uncle Larry. Your fate is decided already. Any minute now, your last two soldiers will fall and this war will end. It's for the best, Dexter. It's done, boss. Well, number one is out of the way. As for number two, for her request, you will be named an official island. You will adhere to the Geneva Convention. Now, as for number three, you son of a bitch. Uh, what now? Do you have any idea? how much of a break you're being given. You looted a casino, plot an assault on DC. You will show respect and pay your debt to America. You're not done with me. Now, as for number three, you will give us copies of all of your records. You will be allowed to make steroid-free creatures as you originally explained to the lady over there. The prototype will be considered US property. I'm done and I'm sick of looking at you. Go! I'll see you in three months. Welcome, sir. Yeah, let's do this already. Would you care to visit Marnie and the child? Not here for a social call, Dexter. Show me the prototype. Well then, excuse me. No tricks, you son of a bitch! I do not trust that man. I don't like this one bit. It's not much, but for your services, it's yours if you'd like it. Magic take. No more killing. Magic. Get comfy. Good God! Is that what we signed on for? There are several bugs still to be worked out, as you can see. But my debt to you was a prototype, correct? Well. Since I'm paid, I'm leaving. Have someone load those things on my plane. Ah, it is what it is. If only I had reached the glory I intended. But, it is time to rebuild. I'll bet if only one is a little strong, who'll know the fool I was. So, the adults on the first letters are outside. Ah, 
Let us check on my first successful endeavors. Good morning, my pets. Come out and greet the day. Whiskers, paws, how are you? What the fuck are we? You, you are the ultimate hybrid of cat and man. You are a true friend to the lonely. And in large number, with proper training, you are the ultimate weapon. But why? Well... He's gonna breed and sell us. Yes. And don't worry. Your family is well taken care of. No. Why no? They keep pumping out cats so I can turn them like you. Your species will never enjoy the likes of music or movies if they stay the way they are. He's right. I do like being able to actually communicate. No. This is wrong. Think of it this way. Your kids will see things that your ancestors have dreamed of for years. They'll be viewed as freaks. Well, you don't have a choice. I've got another island with two more cat people being bred right now to prevent inbreeding. Once their transformation is complete, you'll be sedated and the mating process will begin. I guess where he's supposed to go is to schools. I think so. Yep, that guy in the lab coat is a real douchebag. All right, sit the fuck down. Let's get this over with. What the fuck are we doing all this for anyway, douchebag? You're actually forming sentences. Good. Oh, and fuck you. Uh, Doc, you're a sick man. Why do you keep us here? We've been over this, Smokey. You're not educated enough to release you, any of you. Of the ten original of you, four will be released when properly educated to create awareness of your kind. How does we know who's gonna go? You'll find out when you're educated. Now let's get back to it. You are educated, my pets, as promised. Four of you shall go, and six of you shall stay. My breeder tells me we only need three males. So Boots, Shadow, Smokey, and Ricketts, head to the docks, and you'll be dropped off at the harbor in America, in the city. What about Lemmy? He will make a fine specimen. Now go, before I offer the chance of freedom to someone on the other island. Smokey, take care of yourself. Fuck you! You fucking ingrate piece of shit. Have fun in the city. I'd stick close to your brothers. Nah, man. This ain't right. Oh my god. Let's just go. I hate to say it, but he's right. Come on, Smokey. All of you. I love you. I'll be back for you. You come back. I'll kill you. <laughs> Easy Smokey. They probably just want a party. Damn nice time to go to the fucking store. Bitches. <laughs> then again, alright, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, that's what the fuck I thought. What you gonna do now, baby? Keep on driving! Whoa! What the fuck? Hey, my man! You need something, baby? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. 
You got any weed? You got any money, motherfucker? Oh uh, yeah, right here. Uh, no problem. Whatever 200 bucks will get me is fine. I'll tell you what's fine, baby. Don't give me the lowdown. Bitch, go get my bag. Now go ahead and drive your narrow ass the fuck off my corner. <laughs> Smokey, you handled that like a straight baller. Yeah, bitch, I know it. I know it. Code 12, we got her in sight. Go get him. Subject targeted. Taking him down. Got you, son of a bitch. <clears throat> oh, come on, bitches. Don't just stand there. Do something. Oh, fuck you, stink-ass host. Smokey gonna die. Hello, Smokey. As I said, I hope life's been treating you well. Get in the fucking van. Move out. Oh, not you! I ran the devil himself! What the fuck you want with Smokey? You don't let us go, motherfucker! Did you really think that pimping a hose was what I had in mind when I let you loose to create awareness of your kind? Oh, here's some genetically enhanced super pimps. Oh, fuck you, Doc! I didn't ask to beat this! You made me, motherfucker! Yes, well, I quite frankly don't give a damn. Where the fuck are your brothers? Boots and Shadow! I haven't seen in years! I lost track of them forever ago! You wouldn't happen to be lying to me, would you, Smokey? What? Don't play games with me, man! No, you mustn't be lying. I don't smell flop sweat and pissed fur. You always was a crazy motherfucker, man! Where the hell are you taking, Smokey? Why, home, of course. You, cut his eye bands. Let him relieve himself of his homesickness. Homesickness? You must be crazy, motherfucker. I'd rather have my balls put in a wood chip and be here. On your feet. As you can see, I've made some improvements. I also now have over 50 of you spread across four different islands. Okay, bitch, so you've been busy. What the fuck you want with a motherfucking middle? You ingrateful pissant. Put him in the brig until his attitude adjusts. Ah, uh, Tuki. Apparently you developed a staring problem. Run along. Uh, uh, yes, yes sir. Oh man, I think I might have gotten karate chopped pretty hard. Did I see Tukey out there? What's this in my pocket? Maybe he's just trying to tell me something. Dear Smokey, I knew you'd be here soon through some intel. So I made some preparations for your arrival when we heard that he was leaving to find you. He's going to keep you in the prison that he forced us to build until you show some kind of loyalty toward him. I know it goes against every fiber of your being, but I need you to do it. Once he's let you go, and we can talk face to face, we can make moves and plans toward our escape. Your brother, Tuki. Oh man, you got my head all twisted up. This is fucked. But, here goes nothing. Oh God, God, I'm so sorry. Please let me talk to the duck. I want to tell him how wrong I've been! I'll let him know in the morning. He told me you were in for the night. So sit down and go to sleep. Oh, mother- I mean, that seems fair. Ah, a new morning. Rise and shine, Smokey, my boy. The God said you'd come to your senses. Can it be true? Yes, sir. I'd like to be part of your family and be with my brothers in your utopia. Ah, I see. Why don't you settle in? The dark corners are on the far side of the island. Come, I'll show you. We'll walk and talk. Oh, gee! Thanks! Computer, gates open. You're welcome. After you, Smokey, my boy. As I said before, your quarters are way over there. Tuki and Lemmy have been informed of your arrival. Oh, gee! That's swell! May I go, please? Ah, such manners. 
Yes, you may, Smokey. Have a pleasant day. Oh, you going down, baby. I'm going to feast on your blood. Ah, uh, I see you read my letter. How are you, Smokey? How am I? I guess I can't complain. I mean, I got to see the outside, but is it worse to have a rip down from under you? Unfortunately, I can't say. Oh, don't you worry, Took. We're going to fix that. Uh, yes, indeed. Take this. It's a tracking device. I stole it while he was away trying to find you. We all wear them now, because if one of us escapes, that way we'll have the coordinates to follow them. Oh, that's fucking genius, baby. Hey, how'd you pull all that off? Well, to put it as simply as possible, he has endless tech parts and very limited security. Well, as far as you're concerned, that's a damn fine thing. We also bugged the guy who delivers our food. Me and Lemmy originally planned to hijack his boat and come to find you guys. But now that you're here, I don't really know what to do. Where are Boots and Shadow? Oh, baby, I wish I knew. Some crazy shit went down when we hit the land. We all scattered and went our separate ways. I haven't seen either of them since. Well, then the three of us and anyone who's strong enough to make it will have to hijack the food boat. Oh, is it really that easy, baby? I don't see it. All I know is I pray to God that it is. As you may know, Lemmy and I have been planning ourselves an escape for a while. Now that we have some extra muscle, I feel now is the time. In exactly two hours, the early morning food drop will be pulling into harbor. Our intent is to take that boat. Obviously, we'll handle the dirty work of taking out the captain and his deckhands. Callie, you lead the women and children in distracting the dock and his security. If my calculations are correct, and all goes well, We'll all be free by sundown. Oh, Smokey will do anything to get you motherfuckers free. I'll gut every one of them sailors like a fish. Don't upset the women. Save that talk for the battlefield. Oh, Lemmy. Fair enough. I just want y'all to know, Smokey's ready to die for y'all. Luckily, his weapons are about as guarded as his technology. I managed to get a few of these. Just a heads up on the hardware. They're fully auto and equipped with grenade launchers. Unfortunately, we have limited ammo. Hey, Took! So what's the game plan? Callie, I know the women don't like this kind of talk, so you may want to take them outside. Understood, Tookie. Well, you want to hear the plan? Here it is. Callie and the women will run out of the house, signaling the adolescents to get up the children. Then, in one big group, they'll all swarm the dock which scares the crap out of me, because if he takes it as a mutiny, he'll drop half of them before we can even get outside. But if this works, and they're all in place, blocking his sight, we can rush the boat as they unload our food supply. Oh, Smokey can see you giving this some thought. So how much more time do we have until we move? Unfortunately, none. <laughs> oh, Doc! Doc! Me and the children want to sing to you. What? Well, me and the other women have been working together to teach them a song to show how much we love you. Oh, yeah? Where are your brothers? Oh, come on, Doc. They don't love you the way the kids do. Plus, they're all so macho. They don't sing. All right, all right. You give me a headache. Let's have it. I'm a busy man. All right, they're in place. Smokey, you go left. Lemmy, you go right. I'll go aboard and take out the deck hands. Jasper, you stay here and keep watch. Oh, I got you, baby! <sighs> Let's do this! <laughs> Come on! Let's move in! Everyone, head for the docks. Please, Lord, forgive my soul. <laughs> Alright, baby, I'm guessing that means it's clear. How do we let the others know? Wait a goddamn second. Move aside. What the fuck? Oh, are you kidding me? Kill them. Kill them all. This island will need to be restocked. <laughs> Smokey, you son of a bitch. This is your doing. Just 
go. You were given this blessing, not us. You can't save us. We're doomed. Just save yourself. But, but, Tilk! Go, goddammit. There's no sense in you dying, too. Everything happens for a reason. If we're meant to be free, then we will be, and we'll find you. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this again. Smokey, I'm telling you one time. Our souls are damned. There's no reason for yours to be, too. Tilky, I love you all. I will save you, I promise. Smokey, perhaps you already have. So, how's life been treating you, kid? Kind of shitty, actually. My... Who the fuck is that? I got this, baby. Well, that was weird. Go on. Uh, Boots, you gonna wanna come here, baby. This better be fucking Tuki. Holy shit. How the fuck did you find us? How did you get here? Oh, I got so many questions. Well, Smokey can probably answer one of those, but it's a long story. You better sit down. Oops, I, I never told you this, baby, but Smokey went back to that island. No way. You couldn't have made it in and out. How would you even know where to go? We were beaten senseless and blindfolded when they boarded us here. Oh, Shadow Baby. Smokey's hatred led him like the North Star. And Tuki here had made a makeshift tracking device to put on anyone who came to the island from the free world. That's actually how I got here. We put one on the boat captain that delivered the food. Unfortunately, some others came with me. They did not make it. Whoa. What about Lemmy? Motherfucker! Do you know, do you know where this place is? Can you get me there? Yes, I could. But I'd have to smoke the world's biggest crack rock to think about doing something like that. What did you just say? There's still at least two or three of our brothers and sisters on that fucking island. Actually, there's considerably more. Smokey didn't mention. Mention what exactly? What do you mean? Oh, I couldn't say because it's too fucked up. There's some bitch kept experimenting. There's about 42 of us now. Are you fucking kidding me? Shadow, where's the nearest airport? That would be LVA in A-Town, but there's no flight to that island. Are you crazy? Well, how exactly do you suggest that we get there? Because we're going. Look, don't get testy with me, alright? I want to save them as much as you do, but I just don't see how it's possible. Well... I noticed we were running along the coast of the UK the entire boat ride here. If we fly to Northern Ireland, we could take a boat the rest of the way. Shadow, you booked the goddamn tickets! I got supplies to pack! We leave for Ireland tonight! Well, I can honestly say this place is much different than I expected. Huh, that's funny! Cause this is exactly what Smokey expected! Alright, enough commentary. I think we should probably find a cab and head into the city. It's close to the water. Good point. <laughs> I don't know why you said it like that. It's like I thought somebody was going to send a fucking limo for us. Come on. Oh boy, I ain't be needing to lay off the shrooms. Huh, where are you headed, folks? Oh, that kind of depends. Where's the nearest city that has water access? Oh, you need water access. Oh, that'd be better fast. Anywhere in particular? Nope. Just get us there in one piece, Mac. Ah, shouldn't be a problem there, then. One last question, if you don't mind. Where is the nearest beach in Belfast? Oh boy, oh, I can't help you there. See, we Irish don't care for the beaches with our pale vanilla Dracula-like skin. We tend to stay away from the sun whenever possible. Okay, then. Boots, don't sweat it. I can research it when we get there. How exactly are you gonna do that? You're gonna go to the fucking library? Living on the island for so many years, while horrifying, had its advantages. I had an abundance of time, and the landscape of insecurity was so simplistic stealing his technology and teaching myself to use it was a breeze. I call her Lucille. Oh, that's nice. What the hell is it? Holy crap! She's a supercomputer, and she can track a squid straight to the bottom of the ocean just on its life force. Look, I'm honed in on Bernie right now. You can see he's... Oh wait, no, don't. He 
he's jacking off. Okay, well that's deeply disturbing, but then finding the others should be the breeze with those chips, right? Well, it'll give us a general direction, and it'll lead us toward them, but not necessarily by water. Hold on, give me a second. Oh, considering it's a four-hour ride, you can take your fucking time. Yes, well, here it is, I've got it. I managed to get my know-it-all software online. This thing took a beating getting here. But I know this thing has every bit of knowledge known to man, so I'm sure we can find them. Oh, okay, so where's the water, baby? Sir, we need to go to the dock in Belfast Seaport. I bet we can use that massive bank account of yours, Boots, to commandeer a boat from one of those fishermen. Fine, but if $20,000 doesn't convince them, my claws will. Hey, wake up everyone. We're here. Hey, I wanted to talk to you. Uh, you guys all fell asleep, but I gave some thought to that whole fisherman thing, and I thought, uh, fuck that. Wait, what? You got a better idea? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. See, I use the device too. It's called a cell phone. Why the hell would I spend all that money to go in unarmed on a fishing boat when Whistling Pete can send me these? If I'm gonna go broke, I might as well do it right. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Yeah, tell me about it later. Let's go shut this son of a bitch down for good. Okay, according to this, if you stay on the path you're on, it's about a thousand miles north. You should be able to see it soon. Yeah! Would you know it if you saw it? Stupid question. Would you? Fair enough. Good point. There. Ahead. Hmm. The son of a bitch had them build a fucking monument to him. Boots! Save that anger. You're gonna need it, baby. Okay, you two. Engines off. We need to swim from here. We'll be dead before we hit land. And grab a pistol just in case you lose your MG. You heard him, Smokey. Ditch the boat. Let's go. Oh, I'm so glad I paid for waterproofing. Whew, that was smart. Okay, guys. This looks like a good place to get on dry land and set up. Oh, you son of a bitch. Round two. Let's fucking do this. Hold on. We can't use guns. Yeah. Way ahead of ya. <laughs> Alright, that takes care of that. Tukey, Shadow, you take down the guard station. They won't be expecting it. Me and Smokey will take down the holding cells. Then we'll regroup. Smokey, go left and take up position. I'll flank with you. <laughs> this is too fucking easy. This is for my brothers, you sons of fucking bitches. <laughs> Tuki, the dead, and you're out of ammo. <clears throat> I appear to have lost my composure. Oh, gross, 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 gross. All right, I'm good. I think that's the last of them. We're probably clear, and it's just about noon, which means that son of a bitch is probably still sleeping. Let's make our way toward the house now. Boots, this is our window! What are you waiting for, man? Smokey, you trust me, right? Just keep them covered. I got one last hit to deliver. So Boots, Shadow, Smokey, and Ricketts, head to the docks, and you'll be dropped off at the harbor. 
and America. What about Lemmy? He will make a fine specimen. Now go. Specimen's my ass. This one's for you boys. Take me down, huh? Then so be it. Ask myself if it was worth it to invest in this gun. And now I know it was worth every fucking penny. Alright, Smokey, you ready? Count of three, I'll kick it down. One, two, I will watch this island burn to the fucking ground before I let those freaks kill me. <laughs> oh, hello boys. You remember me, don't you? Long time no fucking see. Alright, you know what to do. Dump shots on his ass. He can't fucking shoot us all. <laughs> You see, I've developed an impenetrable form of Teflon. Look how absorbent it is. Watch! <clears throat> ah, it's like a little birdie pecking at my nipples. And before you get any bright ideas, I'm wearing it from head to toe. This is it, guys. We got nothing. What are you waiting for? Fucking kill us already! If only it were that simple, dear boy. No, you want me dead. I'm well aware. What I want is my fucking Smokey back. Look, you sick son of a bitch. If you got something to say, then say it. What are you getting at? Ah, Boots. The warrior of the group. I could never tame you, so I want to fucking fight you. Me and you in unarmed combat. If you win, you get what you want. I'm dead, and your brethren are free to go. But on the other hand, if I win, you'll be dead, and Smokey will serve as my pet to the end of time. And Tuki and Shadow? Well, I'll have them made into rugs or something. Son of a bitch, you say it like I have a choice. Let me guess, I don't, do I? Well, there's always a choice, Boots. You have option A, fight, or you have option B. I can stick this pistol straight up your ass and blow all four of you straight back to hell. Yes? Okay then. To the ring of death we go. No. Take this and guard it with your life. I want it back when I'm done killing this fucking perk. Oh, what the hell is this place? At one point, it was the infirmary. But after a while, the guards got restless. And he built this. To keep them entertained, he made us fight in a coliseum. This is that coliseum. Oh, you son of a bitch! I've been waiting about 20 years for this! I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast! I don't think you're ready for what I'm bringing to the fucking table! Ah, Boots. So eager, my dear boy. One moment, please, if you will. Holy shit! I understand that you met my good friend Magic in the Insane Asylum. So you know what this stuff can do. Bring it to me, you fucking pissant! <laughs> oh, come on, man. You'll have to do better than that. Who among you would like to see me rip the fucking head right off your miserable ancestors and pull the guts clean out of your hero and so-called savior, Tuki. Look at him. He's out of gas already. Aren't you? We're just getting started. <coughs> what is this? Back, you sons of bitches! <coughs> Back, damn it! Back, I say! Attack! Ah, get off me, you little bastard! My fucking spine! Don't worry, you son of a bitch. I won't kill you with this. A blade this nice is too good for you. Fuck you!
you, man! This is for Lily! And this is for Ricketts! And this is for me! Holy shit! He's dead. It's over. Oh, that really raises a question, though. What will you all do now? Well, what do you mean? We could take them to the States. They could start new lives. They could... No, Boots. None of that is gonna happen. I think I speak for them when I say, This is our home. What? Wait! Are you serious? Got it, Boots. None of us besides myself have ever left this island. And without a dictator, we have our own private paradise reserved for our kind. I did not spend long in your world, but I did notice that we are not accepted in it. And we are free here. This is our home. And it wouldn't be if it wasn't for you three. So we thank you. Ah, oh, Tuki, that's so deep. I honestly wish I knew what to say to that. But, you know, I'd do it all over again if I had to. So I guess this is goodbye again. No, Boots. No. This time, it's merely see you later. It has taken me nearly 20 years to find this place. But I finally found you. I have come to aid in your research, Father. <laughs>